Hi, in this video, I want to be showing you exactly how to bypass AI detection, whether you're using chat GPT or any other AI content creation tool. All right, so I'm Vince from Digital Man Institute, and if you're new to this channel, uh, I basically focus on software tutorials as well as AI tools. All right, so let's get started. Um, the very first thing I'm just going to do is I'm just going to pick something pre-selected click on it just so that you know you know, you know there's no funny business I'm gonna let chat GPT generate some kind of content in which I can then run ahead and show you um, <clears throat> that it can in fact detect you know AI content and the reason why it's important is because you know many people have been asking me especially a lot of my viewers um, what like can they use AI content creation tools can they use you know uh, the content from those tools and will Google detect it so on and so forth and I'm here to show you that you know a tool and I want to state this many times I know I state this so many times but I want to let me say it again a tool is only as good as the person that's using it so if you go ahead and you take whatever this AI content uh, creator produces and you plop it down into an article then of course that's not going to be very good it's not going to rank very well but if you use a technique which I'm about to show you in this video uh, and, and tweak it a little bit and make it your own, then you know it's definitely going to be a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this, right? And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to originally originality.ai. There's two um, AI content detectors that you know if you're interested, and one is originally originality.ai and the other is content at scale. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link. Uh, down below so you can go ahead and check that out and they're both paid tools okay so uh, please keep that in mind and then let me see i'm going to go to new content scan i'm going to go ahead and plop my uh, content in here okay and i'll just put like chat gpt okay and i'll just go ahead and scan now and what it's going to do is uh, it's going to go ahead and check for uh, plagiarism or and detect whether it's written by an AI. Now, if you're going to use this tool, I highly recommend you just use the detect AI functionality, right? But it says originality is about 57% and it's about 43% AI, okay? So still not too bad, but 43% is quite, quite high. Let's see what we can do to get this down. And once we go ahead and um, we're going to need a separate tool for that. And that tool is going to be called Quillbot. Now this, this tool is amazing because this tool has been out for years and years. And originally it started off simply as an AI paraphraser or AI um, summarizer. Okay. And then it just grew from there. So this AI tool has been out in the market, has been tested. There's a lot of, you know, kinks have been worked out it's constantly improving all right so what you do is you plop down your ai content right uh, content in here and you would go to now this is very important please pay attention to the settings you would go to creative and you need to increase the synonym uh, ratio right not all the way to the max i like to leave it yeah maybe up to here and then you simply rephrase all right now, of course, you're going to have to go over this and make sure that everything sounds readable. Okay, just go up, go over everything. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, and I'm going to go ahead and go back to the originality.ai. I'm going to delete. Let me delete everything here. I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Now, if you remember, the last one was 57 originality and 43% AI. Let's go ahead and scan it again. And let's see what comes out. Now I'm going to, I'm using my credits up here. This is a paid tool, like I said, and you know, if you go ahead and create a lot of AI content, like I do, I highly recommend getting this tool. All right. So as you can see, it's still, did I copy it right? It still needs a little bit of tweaking. Let me go ahead and uh, go to expand, add a little bit more, and let it go ahead and paraphrase, rephrase everything. Okay. 
uh, copy everything. Oh, that's right. I don't think I copied it the first time. And then I go ahead and paste it. All right, sorry about that. Let me go ahead and uh, delete this. And paste everything. And then run it through again. All right, so this is a pay tool. If you go ahead and use this a lot, I highly recommend uh, using this tool. That way you can make sure that your content comes out as it's unique and um, um, well, plagiarism free, first of all, and, and AI content passes all AI content detection. So now look at this. Uh, it's 97% original and 3% AI, right? So as you can see, this 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 works, right? This isn't, uh, you know, this isn't some kind of like uh, quick fix, but you obviously have to go over this, all right? So let me paraphrase everything and uh, summarize everything for you. Whatever AI content generator you use, you have to take that content. Do not plop it directly into your blog. You have to go into an AI content um, tool, a content detection tool, which I use originality.ai, right? Because I feel that the UI is a lot easier to use. And then from there, you have to go to an AI paraphrasing tool, right? And, which is Quillbot. Go ahead and click on either creative or expand and max out the synonyms. And then go ahead and edit it. And then after that, you can go ahead and use it, right? Remember, the last part is, is human. You got to, you know, check it still, make sure it's readable. And then, then from there, you go ahead and, and pop it back in here, uh, test it out, see how, how well it does, right? So you're going to need originally.ai, Quillbot. And those two tools should, should, should do the trick. So, you know, you can see the proof is in the pudding right here. Right? So please... Um, if you're interested, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by, and I'll see you in the next video.